Hello, um, here to show you a little update on our uh, Blue Man node exporter. Um, what I have done is done my best to recreate the uh, MTEC panel material that you get in the starter content with Unreal Engine 4. Uh, I've done my best to recreate that in, in Blender here. Um, I'm using the cycles render so I can get at the nodes, but I've only got it set on material here. One, uh, you're going to get a little better idea of what it's going to look like, and two, it is much quicker, especially for me. And, uh, yeah, that's a word. But, anyway, on to it. Uh, like I said, I've done my best to uh, give myself to hook it up. The only major difference between the two is I've added a color ramp here so that I can uh, change the color of the, the sheen if you will as you can see here the, the red coming off of the, the black here which I think is kind of cool. Anyway on to it. Go to our user preferences material Material Blender to UE4 Material Node Copier. Uh, now, we have uh, for our color ramp, uh, we have got a UI element here that allows you to choose the resolution. Now, this is important when your node setup becomes extensively large due to node groups or just because you went nuts with it. Um, if you find that it's complaining of you know too many or too big anything just uh, drag this down. It's set to the default to 64. Looks good at 64. Give it a shot. Um, another one we got only copy selected. Uh, two is print output to console and there will be another because there are instances to where printing out to the console isn't even going to help you if it's huge and for whatever reason you come across a problem I'm going to make sure that it allows you to save your copied material to a text file so you can copy it from that into Unreal um, sorry the pipe size for some OS's is too small for you to go completely nuts with this. Um, it is big enough to uh, allow a fairly extensive material node setup here. Um, but yeah, if, if you don't have anything checked here, when you hit this button it goes through everything. Now it will complain about this node here, the material node output. Now it all it does with that no, I don't want you to save just yet. Is it will give you an, an a report here, an error, and it'll tell you which node it is, the shader node material, output material, and it'll tell you it's just not supported yet. Uh, some of them I can, some of them I cannot. Um, one second here, we will clear the clipboard history. Nothing in the clipboard. We'll click this again, get our error. And when we look at our clipboard, we can see that we got something. Now, when we get over here, uh, let's see here. Delete that one. Delete that one. Create a new material. Open it up. All right. What we're going to do in the material editor panel is we are going to set our new material here the uh, physical material we're going to go to here the material option over here to the left or wherever it is for you we're just going to check use material attributes all right and we'll zoom on out here so we're, we can see what's going on and you can either hit control v or right click and then go on down to paste now I'm going to show you something about the uh, the color ramp node that we just copied over. Uh, yes, forgot about that. Your normal maps, it does not change it to normal automatically. But, uh, sorry for the inconvenience. 
and as you can see we now have our pretty material looks very much the same as what we have in blender uh, of course the lighting in blender uh, with the point light isn't quite as pretty and it doesn't have the environment to reflect off of it but anyway going back to it uh, our color ramp node is right here what I did uh, because Unreal, the closest thing that it has to it is a three color blend, which that's awesome and all, but not good if you add in a lot of different colors. Um, we'll add that, we'll go to a yellow, and then we'll click here, and we'll add another one, and we'll change that to a green. And we'll drag this on over and get some uh, oily looking effect going on here. Alright, now we got that. Let's take a uh, closer look at how that should be. Okay, now we'll take this, choose only copy selected, copy it, come on over here and then of course you can uh, scroll on down and choose paste here and just hook it on up and we should see similar results and we do how freaking cool is that that's awesome. Just awesome. Anyway, uh, yeah. The nodes that I have done. Um, Got to do the desaturate one still. And I'm thinking, just thinking, don't quote me, that I may be able to go into Blender's source code, check out how they did their, their, their procedural textures, their brick, Veroni, and noise and if I can translate that over to Python then I'm going to attempt to make it to where it will render that that node out for you to a texture of a resolution that you choose and put it into your uh, make it to where you choose the project folder with the texture directory hit the button it'll do its thing and by the time you get over to Unreal it should be asking you if you want to import those textures when you click paste the procedural texture nodes will be changed into a texture 2D node but onto it for both the math and the mix nodes we have add subtract and multiply and divide those are the same they get treated the same they get out ex copied over the same uh, to Unreal uh, with our vector math, we have normalize, dot product, cross product, special ma uh, sine, arc sine, cosine, arc cosine, power, minimum, maximum, round, absolute. Um, the mix, all right, uh, mix, the mix node, uh, just mix, acts like the lerp in Unreal. We have screen difference, dark and light, and overlay, dodge, burn, soft light, linear light. Those be careful with. Um, they don't always act the same but I, I've got them in there so you, you know you can uh, play with them um, shader now val to RGB this is uh, the BLID number for the color ramp node uh, invert the uh, reroute node separate RGB combine RGB separate XYZ combine XYZ those would be make and break float threes um, the UV map it would be text chord. The value would be a constant, just a single constant. Shader node RGB is going to be the constant three. Uh, text image that is the texture texture 2D texture image 2D. Uh, the BDS B, blah, blah, BSDF principled is converted over to the set material attributes. Um, I will come up with a something written down. I'm gonna try to make something pretty for everybody. Uh, no, for for.
for the people who have this that will explain which pins in the principled BSDF you are able to use. Um, let's see here, what else? And the shader node mix shader. That way you can combine the principled BSDFs, um, which also shows up in here as a blend for the materials, um, which you can further adjust over here. Uh, let's see here, what else? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have a couple, a few of the nodes. Um, normalize, add, subtract, dot product, cross product. Uh, these, let's see here, the last output is not used. Um, and with the adding zero back here, the mix shader, like I said, it is like the lerp shader, so the FAC, or FAC input, is the alpha input on the lerp in Unreal and the shader node mix shader same deal um, so those get added back now the alright uh, mix RGB that's the same as mix here okay the some of the the sine cosine uh, shader node invert we skip the first one you're gonna plug your stuff into the second input the sine cosine, the first input, the uh, the value, the default value that you can adjust will be used for the period that is in the in Unreal here. Um, right here, that's where that'll go. So, or that's where that does go. Uh, I hope I didn't. No, I didn't. All right, what else? Uh, arc cosine, arc sine, cosine, it doesn't matter, you just plug it into the second one. Uh, round absolute and shade node mixer. Alright, these two, the shade node mixer and the mix RGB, which is right here, the mix RGB, um, those, the, the inputs get swapped around. Uh, but I'll I'll make little miniature tutorials on it, and uh, when you when you acquire this add-on, it will have documentation inside of it or with it to let you know. But anyway, pretty cool, huh? The freaking color ramp is awesome. I am digging the heck out of it. Dun, 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 dun. Let's grab that and see if we can make it into something other than uh, it's a sun size. Why, oh, thank you, Unreal. I appreciate that. similar here uh, if not identical so a couple more toys uh, well I have one toy to play with here so you know to add to your unreal editing experience sorry about it taking so long hope uh, the update here worked out uh, let's see here yes the texture nodes okay in unreal you need to Sun doesn't have a nude. There you are. Okay. In Blender, use your separate RGB and it goes to color. The alpha, whatever you hook that up to, will be hooked up in the same spot. These three end up getting skipped because, of course, there are no. RGB outputs here without using the separate RGB. So, 
that's that. Alright, but that will, like I said, be explained later. Thank you. Bye.